I don't know how you people live down here. It's hot, it's humid. Most of the time it smells like the goddamn river. It smells all right to me. You know what it is. It stinks of mud. Wet, rotten mud. It's been buried down deep for way too fucking long. The Mekong Delta had that same goddamn stench. Hated it then, hate it now. So, what'd you find out? Franco Frank Pagani runs Tikfa Harbor. Reports up to Tommy Marcano, and he has a ship called the Tanager, which he uses to smuggle shit in and out of the city. For the past eight months, he's been making regular trips to Bermuda. What's in Bermuda? <laughs> Not a goddamn thing. He's really been going to Cuba. Marcano used to run the mob casinos down in Havana. My assumption is that Frank has been taking whatever is salvageable from the old casinos and bringing it back up here. That's a lot of effort to reuse some old tables and slot machines. There's gotta be something else going on. Yeah, unfortunately we can't walk up to Frank and ask him. He's in Havana now and he isn't scheduled to be back anytime soon. I mean, we gotta force him to change his travel plans. Frank's businesses are centered around stolen cars and freight. Look for places that'll support that kind of activity. Once you start taking them down, they'll come home. All right. I'll put a tap on the Coast Guard and let you know when the Tanager contacts them. Here. So you the scary motherfucker who gon' deal with Junior Holland. Nice to meet you too, lady. Set it down. I don't mean anything by it. I'm Gina Kowalski. My old man and I used to boost cars with Junior before he decided to brain us and throw in with Marcano. I don't see your old man around. Died in the cell upstate round Eastern. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> he shouldn't have got caught. Junior's running cars out of the best old gas station around the way. Got some pros that come around with high-end rides. Hell, he even got a sideline bootlegging gasoline from the refinery. Where are the cars going? He sells some here, but knowing how many nice new rides gone missing lately, I'm guessing Junior's getting ready to run a bunch in a shipment out of town. If he's got people out on the street, I'll get him to talk. Maybe even get word about the pros he's got working for him. See you around, Gina. The boys don't scare easy, but you still need to get some of them to talk.
Fuck is lucky he got his ass out of here. You all? Red. Oh. 
Run for cover. You're looking pretty fuck now, isn't it? You got that little speed freak junior studied up out here. Didn't plan on doing any less. <laughs> an old friend with an E out at the best, darling. 
Say Junior come blowing through, making everybody's life a living hell. And he won't leave until he can get the business right. <laughs> Never heard of Junior Harlan being so dang motivated. When you have to kick up to Sal Marcano, that'll light a fire into your ass. That, and all the speed he's on. When you whip his ass, tell him he shouldn't have messed with Gina Kowalski. <laughs> I'll catch you later, Gina. I'm in tick fall. Just about out of everything. I'll head your way now. You spot anything you can use? Let me see what you got. Done deal. I'm out of here. I'm gonna hold Tick for a harbor. I'm gonna need some of your guys. I'm glad you heard my wake up call, brother. And I hope you follow through with the cults you setting us on here. After I was discharged, I wandered around for a couple, three months, did some odd jobs. I got arrested once or twice for fighting. But I always kind of knew I was going into seminary. It just took a little while for it to sink in, I suppose. Once I was done with seminary, Bishop Jenkins sent me to St. Michelle's home for colored boys. That orphanage was a pile of shit from the day I got there till the day I left. <laughs> but I loved it. <laughs> I loved having those boys. Hey, Mr. Clay, look over there. One of those cars has one of them fancy A-track tape players in it. I think you've been waiting for me. Yeah, 
Pablo Duarte, you with the company? Not exactly. They're gonna be a problem. If you can help keep money from going to those communist bastards in Cuba, then no. You with the Cuban Revolutionary Council? I made it through that disaster back in 61. Ended up here. I still have connections, though. It's how Frank Pagani's smuggling operation got on my radar. His man, Pops Holland, runs the freight yard. Does a lot of business with Havana. <laughs> All that commie talk about common ownership is so much bullshit is sickening. Those hijos de puta only care about money. Since losing River Row, Pops has had to resort to airdrops. They moved them around. So you'll have to find out where they're happening. I'm sure Pops' people will be more than happy to help me out. I'll be back, Pablo. Who's working for Pops Holland know what he's up to. You're gonna need to get at them. This is what happens if you live off. Next time, keep your damn mouth shut. Hurry the fuck up. You want to see the fuck him. That him? Got him. kicked off the wrong white boy.
on my neck are standing up. Monkey fell out of the tree. It's supposed to be a joke. Ain't nothing goes about it. Never was one who smoked. Just all over. Ah, up at the cannery and get me my own skiff. Coming through. What's your problem?
should look over there. Hey, I see Watch on me. Watch where you're I going. I respect the message, but as soon as they start protesting, block it. Tick four. I'm in tick four. Just about out of everything. I'll head your way now. All right. What do we handle today? Keep this safe. Going straight to the bank. Everything you see is for sale. Show me what you got. Done deal. I'm out of here. No sign here. Let's check over there.
Slack it. Come on. Oh, oh, shit was that? What? Just, just don't let nothing happen to me. Let's be hearing things again. Huh? How'd he get in here? Huh? Hey, huh. Pal. Okay. Then where you wanna look? Going well out there? Junior Holland's related to Pops, right? Pops isn't gonna like you going after his family.
slept. Three days. Feel like I'm about to kill over. No one said you couldn't grab a warm piece of cooze. you in a minute. Smoking right next to it? Don't be such a pussy. This here's American steel. Ain't got nothing to worry about. Slows it down. Pull a shift with a trace of him coffee. here. Black. That's it. But I won't be able to sleep tonight. Read a book. Hey, I'm Penn. We got ourselves a guest. In Found that uppity asshole. In my heal all of us. Get behind something. Getting any more cargo out to Cuba. Good. You somehow managed to piss off both the communists and the gangsters. Word is, Pops Holland is seriously fucked thanks to you. Best way to make a crook squirm is to hurt his money. Huh. Yeah. I heard Frank Pagani told Pops to get his ass back to the freight yard. 
Pops isn't going anywhere until you're dealt with. I understand he's a hard motherfucker. He's a survivor. Thanks for looking out, Pablo. But I dealt with a lot worse than Pops. You think I should ask Alice to move to the office? Alice Hall. Because you remember her dad is your fucking boss. And her brother is a hump. Get him up! Yes, sir. All I'm getting at is what if all the... you heard was my Connell town pops a new one.
We shouldn't be working with those communists. Can you spare some of your crew to hold Tick for? This is all I ever wanted, brother. Next step for you is easy as long as you let us stay right where we are. How are you? Sir, our will is strong and no one is... <laughs> 